So we have some huge news. Jaime Munguia with Zephyr Boxing is doing a co-promotion with um, Top Rank for this upcoming fight. And uh looks like it's going to be a three to five fight deal. Right now, it looks like a three fight deal. Could be longer. But um, Jaime Munguia is basically going to do business with um, Top Rank right now. He's signing on to do a co-promotion with them. And um, it's reported right now that uh, his uh, existing promoter, which is F Fernando Beltran, who's uh, working with Zen for Boxing, he's going to be uh, basically helping promote this fight coming up uh, with uh, Eric Bazian. And this is going to be a crazy fight with Jaime Munguia, man. You know, it's very interesting of him having a lot of things coming out of nowhere. And for him to be signed with top rank right now, uh, it makes a lot of sense in my eyes, just from what I've seen. Uh, I'm not going to drop the hint of how I realized, but um not very surprised just because of um, i seen something trending that way, but I didn't know there was going to be a lot of moves made between Jaime Munguia and top rank, but top rank's trying to show up some talent right now. They have a lot of moving pieces going on. Uh, they're not strong at certain spots where they, they would like to be. Um, I feel like them grabbing Jaime Mungi is possibly um, something leaning towards a replacement still of Edgar Berlanga. I don't feel like they fully replaced Berlanga, especially the way they was pushing him as the um, top 168 they had. So I feel like they're definitely still trying to replace him in that whole situation. But with Jaime Munguia getting a deal with uh, Top Rank, it just shows that they're still collecting talent right now. And I'm not very surprised by it. Looks like for my eyes, man, that Golden Boy is um, basically, you know, kind of capped out, man. Because uh, Berlanga just came out and um, basically said he's going to fight Canelo Alvarez, which all makes sense. But um, for, well, for, for him, it makes sense. Who else would you fight? But as far as Jaime Munguia, he doesn't really have much options outside of the Canelo fight. The Benavidez thing didn't grow through, so for him to go to top rank, he's basically going to have a lot of in-house fights over there. That's what it looks like. He has options over there at 168. But with Zerto Ramirez leaving uh, go to boy as well, all these situations look weird, man. It's like, um, I don't know from the outside looking in, but it seems like a lot of people's not really working with Golden Boy at this time, uh, unless it's certain fights or I don't know. It has to be certain things because um, for Ramirez to leave because he wants to get certain fights and then also to have this situation with Jaime Munguia leave because he wants to be in a better situation, have uh, more available fights. It's just interesting overall. And he's probably learning a lot more now that, okay, you know, the competition I have been fighting or I've been surrounded by the past, what, six, seven, eight years, it's not really something that I um, cannot really replace right now. I can go ahead and replace that and go to another promotional company and have these guys um, sure up some more talent. Like the John Riders and everything else, he could find no uh, talent on other promotional companies to fight. So him going to top rank, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. They're going to find some guys to come in. Uh, they'll have other people on promotional companies. They'll find guys on Pro Box and wherever they else they need to to kind of find the best opponent available for um, Munguia. But this next fight he has coming up with uh, Bazian, uh, it should be a good fight. I don't feel like it's going to be a world beater, but it should be a tough fight. It should be entertaining. Um, sh possibly could see something different. I don't know right now. Possibly can. But top rank, they're staying busy, man. They're going to stay uh, sweeping up talent, whether it's talent that's already on other promotional companies or a talent that's just coming in to the uh, pro game. So that's not something I'm surprised by, but definitely caught me off guard today. So Jaime Munguia goes to top rank, and he basically shores up the 168 division for them. They don't have to go out searching for more talent. 
So it makes sense. But uh, that's all I got. Like and subscribe.